Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. I've got a slightly topsy-turvy video today because I have already done a painting. I did it on the spur of the moment the other day. Uh, I couldn't wait to get started on it um, and I didn't do a video before I started. So here it is. Uh, these are all the colours that I used, not nearly as many as I normally do. I've got some lovely purples, I've got a couple of greens and some nice pastel colours and the gold I added um, as a bit of an afterthought really because I had done my last video which is a flower heart painting which has already gone to the place where I display my art and when people were coming in, they were all mentioning one particular flower that really caught the light. So I have it on my iPad here. It is this flower, which looks really blue in the light. It really catches and glistens in the light. Um, and the interesting thing was that I didn't use any blue in the actual flower but it just really stands out. Uh, so it got me thinking that I would quite like to do a really big sort of giant flower. Um, and I had a 40 centimetre canvas. So I thought it would just be fun to try that out. So the first 45 seconds or so, I've put my white base down and you'll see that I'm putting the pastel colours around the edge and doing my balloon dips like I do with my flower heart paintings because I just think it makes a nice background and it catches the light nicely uh, with the white matte and the reflective metallics. Um, and then after that, there's about 17 minutes of real time me actually just making the flower. So I will leave you to watch that and then at the end um, I will show you what the dried result is and you can see what you think. So I will let that play. of a border so I'm hoping to make a bit of a flower in the middle so uh, I'm going to measure this is a 40 centimetre canvas so I'm going to measure about where the centre is so yeah it's about there and I'm just going to put my puddles of colour down this one is a really dark purple. It doesn't have a metallic finish. This one is deco art and it's a nice lilac-y colour. This one is also a lilac. This is an artiste colour and it's just a very plain lilac. Again, a very matte finish. This one is a deco art, this is lavender, and again that will have a metallic finish to it. And then this one is a neon purple, very, very bright, quite a bit of that. And then this one is the playful blue, which looks white when you put it on 
but when it dries it has a real blue shine to it. And then I'm going to put the dark one in the middle again that I put on the outside. I don't know if that's enough colour or whether I should go for another layer. I might go for another layer. Because with the white being underneath, when I blow that out, the white does kind of mix into it. And it can leave it very, very pale. So I will. I'm just going to do another layer. And then hope that I haven't just put too much paint on. So same order again, really. And it might be pretty having a few layers like that. Bit dark again. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's kind of in the centre. Let's have a look. 20 by 20. Yeah, it's not quite in the centre, but it's not too bad. Yeah, it's a little bit further that way. I must admit, actually, I didn't put the um, spirit level on before I started. Right. So, I think I will put a bit of white around the edge. Just get out any fluff. Yes, I'm going to put some white round the edge. <laughs> I think I've got a loopy bit in there. There we go. I can see that loopy bit. <laughs> I really hate it if I get gloopy bits because uh, they dry and you have a perfect painting and then you've just got this bit that is raised. So there is my puddle. I've got two hair dryers plugged in because I don't know which one will be better. I've got my less powerful one and my really fast one. So, <laughs> let's see what happens. looking pretty. I'd like it to be reasonably symmetrical and it doesn't matter too much about the middle because I can put that middle in. It's looking pretty. whether to make it 
come down a little bit more. This is the part that's always difficult, trying to decide what to do, what bits to make slightly different. So I'm going to do some bits with my straw, I think, and see how that goes. I mean, I like the edges. I like the, uh, I like all the border to it. It doesn't matter too much. I don't think if it's not exactly symmetrical. In fact, it's probably quite nice if it's not, because I can add some nice little spiky bits and some dots. So, I don't know that I want to do too much to the edges. I think the edges might be fine. So I think what I will do is I'm going to use my balloon Maybe I want a slightly smaller balloon. I've got a few. Yes, it's looking pretty. I want to make a centre to the flower. So I'm going to use my water balloon. Um, and I think if I have, this, have it pretty much in the centre, then... by 20. Yeah, so I think if I put a centre around kind of here, and then I think I want to have some nice tendry spiky bits. So I've got my tray here. I'm going to put this dark colour and I think I will perhaps use my palette knife and just make some little bits that come out from that centre. So this is just, I'm hoping, like a bigger version of my heart flower paintings that I do. So I'm hoping that this flower will be like the ones on those. And I chose these colours because my last heart flower painting um, that had particularly the playful blue in it, it was so pretty. And everybody commented on how the blue caught the light. And I know there's no blue in here at the moment, but you will see what I mean when it is dry. Some little dots in the middle. So I've got my tray and my gold here. I didn't put any gold round the edge actually, which 
I actually could have done that. I didn't actually think to put any gold around the edge. I could add a bit of gold if I wanted to. Right, an eight stick. I'm not very well organised today. I, was, I <laughs> suddenly had the idea to do this painting. Um, and uh, I don't feel that I thought about it very much. I just, it just suddenly came into my head and I thought, I'm going to go and do that. So here is some gold. This is the Deco Art Gold. I just want to put a few little dots in. I might put a little bit of gold around the edge actually with a balloon as well. I'm just going to put a few little dots here and there. Just little dots. Because the gold always expands quite a lot and uh, it does go quite big if you're not careful and take over a little bit. So, some very pretty little dots. I think I might just put some gold around the edge and just go around with the balloon a little bit more. Another little hair here. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to just add a few little dots of gold here and there. Again, just tiny because even with putting the balloon in, it does take over a little bit. I think it will just match that um, little bit of gold in the centre. And I can just go round the edge here without disturbing that flower too much. So I think that might be enough. And I'm going to go and take my water balloon, I think, for those. Just to Wash them down a little bit. I don't know whether to go over again with my water balloon or whether to use a slightly different balloon. The gold will come back through. I just don't want it to look too round. So yeah, I'll go in with my slightly heavier balloon and I might just break up some of these ones that are looking a bit round as well. That's looking okay. I think it will look very pretty when it's dry. So I'll leave this to settle for a little while. I might just put a heat gun on it. Thank you. 
this round. I haven't decided exactly what way up it will go yet. That was the way that I was looking at it from. It's not exactly in the middle, but that doesn't matter really. So I'm going to let that settle and um, I'll let you see that in a little while. So here is this painting. It's had time to settle. Um, I just altered the centre very slightly by putting a few more lines, dark lines through it, which broke the gold up a little bit. And I added some of those dark circle little dots as well, just to make that a very definite centre there. But apart from that, I've just left it how it is. Uh, it's looking very pretty. It's not directly in the centre of the canvas, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. And uh, when it's dry, because the white is a very matte colour, those metallic bits really will shine out really nicely. They'll really glisten. And the playful blue, you can't see at the moment. But when that is dry, that is going to look really blue, believe it or not. <laughs> so all those little balloon dips around the edge, which just add a little bit of different colour and something a little bit different to it. And then just the very big flower. So I'll let you see that when it is dry and we'll see what we think. So bye for now. So here is this painting. It's taken a long time to dry because the paint was quite thick when I put it on. And uh, you can see how I've decided this way up is the way for it to go, um, which is probably the view that you had when I was videoing it actually. And you can see those nice metallic balloon dips in the background. And I'm really happy with the shape of the flower and how those colours all merge together. But it's still kind of delicate and it still kind of has a lot of negative space even though it does have the metallic blue dips in it. So I will bring you in for a close up and that is where you will see this blue really kind of shine that little bit. I'm pleased that it's not too overpowering actually and I think that as it dries more I think that the metallic and the kind of shimmery iridescent kind of colours will come out a lot more which is normally the case. But there's a lot of movement in the painting and I like that and I like the way that all the colours have blended together. I think it's very pretty. And the centre actually, I'm uh, pleased that I just added that tiny little bit of gold and uh, the dots and those lines. And as I move the camera, you can kind of see that blue kind of shimmer. It just depends on what angle you catch it from. And I mean, the petals do look lovely. It would be very hard to get that blended colour if you were just painting that with a brush. And there's some of that blue again, you can really see. So it does look really nice. I am very happy with it. It was really good for an experiment really to see how it would go. And uh, yes, I am happy. Those colours will come out more as it dries a little bit more. I mean, it was still wet yesterday. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.